Hey there again guys, it's Clear here with Guilty Skies Gaming and I'm back at Banjo Kazooie. So, um, I am in the area that is right outside Bubble Loop Swamp and that's over that way towards the, that, that thing. So, I'm gonna go up here and unlock the next area. get around this goddamn monkey. Huh, I wonder if I have enough notes. I think I do. Alrighty. So. There's my timer. That's definitely a scene shift. Going from uh you know, cavern kinda to suddenly Egyptian ruin. If I remember. That's right, this is a thing. Yes, Grunty, you're fat. We get it. And I think if I. Yeah, if I take this jump pad that I just spawned, the spinny jump pad. And I think I can go into the center of that jar. Yes. And remember I blew the hat off the witch? Boom. There we go. I love how all the, the levels have something to do with the rest of the castle. And then the second game, which I do still plan on playing, um, it's even more so because the levels have things to do with each other. Um, for example, there's a dinosaur level, and in order to help a Brachiosaurus get something to drink, you have to push an ice block off of one of the other levels. And it's really cool, I love it. Alright, so, last I remember, we have unlocked, uh, Freezy Peak, which is a tongue twister, Freezy Peak. It is anything but easy. And, uh... I think, can I break this? No. Oh wait, eggs. Duh. There we go. Oh hey, another, uh... Note door. I can open this one as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. So it's two down in one episode. I am I am the best. And I think if I remember this cauldron here. Um this one links to one of the other ones. So now yes, it links to the very first one you find. So now I have uh, a connection. Yeah, I don't need to jump in and see. Oops. Wrong move. My bad. And I think there's one more up here. I'm just going around getting all this stuff ready. Because I know I can use it all. That still looks like it would hurt. Okay, here's the teal one. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, there's some more eggs. I'm glad I found a uh, Cheeto. I didn't I didn't find an actual Cheeto, I found Cheeto. Not a Cheeto, it's not the same thing as Cheeto. I think there's another secret jiggy I can get if I do this. No, there is not. I need the runny shoes. And to get the runny shoes, I have to unlock uh, Gobi's Valley. And to unlock Gobi's Valley, I don't know what I need to do for that. 
That's right. I can't do anything here yet because... Ugh. A million other reasons. You know what? Yeah, freeze easy peek. And then we'll go from the fridge to the fire. And we hit Gobi's Valley. <sighs> Yay, Christmas! Peek's got another new move. Yeah. So happy. I hate it. <laughs> I'm just moving. This is actually a pretty fun level. If you can get outside of the if you can get around the cold. Which being freeze easy peak, you can't get around the cold. Everything is cold. Oh yeah, the igloo. This is really sad. Cause like Kazooie. Yeah, their dad was going to get their presents, and he's been gone for a long time, so... Part of what I have to do here is find their presents, and it's a little irritating. And if I remember, Boggy's, like, right here. Yeah. Uh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Somebody help poor Boggy. I have no idea what voice that is, but it's his voice now. I'm Boggy the Baron. I ate a jiggy. I'm gonna go ahead and learn the new move. It's like right over here. Hey, and these goddamn snowmen keep throwing snowballs at you. It's ridiculous. Beak bomb! Hell yeah. I love the beak bomb. Yeah, it basically turns me into a missile. Holy crap. Facebook, go away. I forgot I left that up. My bad. Okay. Sorry about that. Fuck off! Oh, I hate this level for this reason. It's ice physics. You can even, like, you can physically see he has a tough time getting going or stopping. <sighs> now, these snowmen, I can take them out because they're hats. Our targets for this! You gotta go fuck yourself! Oh, that's right. What did this guy's. What did this one do? It opens that, okay. And then when I get the runny shoes, I can finally come back to that because I need the runny shoes to get to the flying pad that the button creates to do a thing, to do something else. And it's super irritating. This is a jumpy box. I'll deal with you guys in a moment. First, I am going back here to get my notes. Oh god, ice cubes. I forgot about them. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that was my coffee pot. God, everything's just interrupting. There we go. Yeah, the Twinklies. They're Christmas lights. And I have to get them to the tree, yeah. Yeah, they can light the tree, and I have to... Yeah, it's much easier if you just attack them. I always used to have such a uh, tough time with this. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. No, these 
What kind of creature eats light bulbs? Then again, I guess they're sentient light bulbs, so that's a little scary. There we go. Got them all. With 30 seconds to spare. Hell yeah. Yeah, and now I have to turn it on, and then I have to do a fly-through of the star on the top, because there's always a star on top of a Christmas tree. What kind of Christmas is all that? Ow, you son of a bitch. Yeah, they have um, slime creature physics, where if you break a big one, it breaks into two smaller ones. What's the center camera? There we go. I have to hit it three times, are you kidding me? Ew. Kazooie's much faster. Okay, so I have to get to this flight pad over here. Take off. and fly through that star. Three times. And I can literally just loop around and do that as many times as I want. I hate how they give you just enough time to do it. Like, it's never, you know, more than enough time or barely any time. It's always the right amount. I mean, that's playtesting, though. You know, okay, so they took, like, I guess, the average time of all the people at the company. And it's like, okay, this takes about 30 minutes on average. Or 30 minutes. God, if something in this game took 30 minutes that wasn't the actual game, I'd be upset. Anyway... I'm sure they were testing it, and it's like, okay, this part takes about, you know, 10 seconds for this guy, something else for that guy. Oh yeah, and that's one of the kid's presents. Um, but I imagine it's just like an average overall time, plus like a couple seconds for good measure. By the way, I'm inside a Christmas tree, and I thought that, I think that's fantastic. Now you get to see the magic of Christmas at work. The magic of Christmas gets me a jigsaw piece. It's what I always wanted. To be out of this freezing hell. Okay, apparently I can't just drop down. Also, why are there ticker termites in here? Like, what the hell? Hey, get out of the way, mouse. Alright, first one down. Let's see about getting some more, then. I think if I kill all the snowmen, I get one. I'm not entirely sure about that. I know getting rid of all the snowmen actually helps later in this level. There we go. Knocked one block off. Because there's a lot to do in this level, so getting rid of all these snowmen is actually really helpful. Damn it. Good thing you're a bad shot. Oh yeah, there's Mumbo's hut. There is a transformation in this level. And it's kind of adorable. I like it. It's not one of my favorite favorites, but it's still pretty funny. Or fun, I should say. It's not funny. Well, it's hilarious if you consider what it is. So I guess it could be considered funny. Oh good, there's a flight pad right here. Oh good. There's a Mumbo Skull there. I ain't fallen today, boy. Yes! If I kill all of them, I do get a Jiggy. Which is helpful. 
for obvious reasons. Because it's getting another Jiggy. And yeah, that's all five of them, I think. Six, five, whatever. However many I killed, that's how many I killed. Science. And I'm going in right into the other half of this level as soon as I'm done here. So this will be like a big joint episode. Jeez, it's like loading me down on Mumbo's skulls. I don't need that many. I have 22 of the damn things. Oh yeah, Waz of the Walrus. Yikes, a nasty fierce bear. And his bird friend. There's some extra life. Golden feather. I think there's a red one behind here. Oh, gold one. Oh, because that makes no sense, but okay. Uh. All right, I need to get one more jiggy and then I'm done. You know what? I'm gonna take all these notes, get that flight pad, and then go up straight to the top and just get that one and call this episode. Because I am short on time. Again with the mumbo skulls, I am like hell... Yeah, I am heavily loaded down, is what I was trying to say. Woo! I can't, I can't roll my tongue, so I can't make a Kazooie impression. She's my favorite character out of the whole thing, though. Like, Kazooie's such a badass. Oh, okay. I grabbed it. And now I fight for my life! On top of a giant snowman head. Yeah! Alrighty! So that'll do it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below what you think. Um, also, be sure to go check out uh, my channel for more great content just like Banjo-Kazooie. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode of Guild Skies Gaming. This is Claire, signing off. Bye-bye.